How does it feel to get that out of the way in such convincing fashion? Uh, it feels good for the match to be over with. Um, uh, win or lose, it just feels good that that's done. How much did your ankle bother you? I saw you already had tape on it, so you, uh, you're probably used to uh, yeah. rolling it. Yeah, I roll my ankle often, so the tape on it helped a lot. So I just added a lot more secure tape and see how it goes. So it didn't it didn't bother me at all. More. Serena, uh, how, given everything both of you guys have accomplished as pros, how much different is it playing against each other now versus when you guys were kids? I mean, was it a totally different mindset? You know, maybe more of a sibling rivalry when you wanted blood when you were kids at all, or is it different now because of kind of the respect you've gained for each other? Yeah, it's definitely different now. I feel like we we don't um, we we want it so bad now. I mean, we wanted it really bad when we were younger, but. Yeah. We had a lot more years in our future, um, and now, I mean, we definitely can want to continue to play, but it's not as like we're 18 and 19 anymore, so it's a little bit different. Um, Serena, you called it the best match or your best tennis since, since coming back to the tour. How much, I guess not physically, but how much mental energy does it take for you to play Venus? Um, it looks like you guys don't even look at each other when you're out there. Is it just you're thinking all the time? Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, for me, it takes a more mental energy than any physical. Um, so it's um, it's not easy, but it is what it is. We set we started this journey 35 years ago, maybe less. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, in in a way, it started before we were born. So we started this journey a long time ago, and we kind of knew um, what to expect. So it's even though it's difficult, especially for me. Um, we just do the best that we can. Um, Venus said she thought it was the best match you've ever played against her. I just wondered what you thought. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I think it's by far the best match I've ever played against her in, for, in forever. Um, I don't know about ever, ever, but it probably was. I played really... I'm much better tonight than I have since I started this journey on my way back. Your next opponent is somebody you have not played in a long time, somebody who has many years in her career and is playing quite well now. What are your thoughts on the matches you've had with Kaya and what do you expect now? Um, well, she obviously knows how to win. She played and beat the number one seed. So, um, I've, I've played her a lot. We've had some close matches, but each match is new, and she's she knows how to play very good tennis. In all your years uh, playing Venus, all your matches, uh, could you say one or two that moments that were either emotional or, or dramatic for you? I, I I can't. I mean, all of them. You know, from the first one to the last. Obviously, the first one was. Pretty awesome and pretty emotional, and just a roller coaster. And this one, the last so far, has been the same feeling. Serena, were you aware of the huge draw that went up for Colin Kaepernick during a change of ends? And if so, what did you make of that? I try to stay really focused on the court, so I don't really try to look too much. Were you aware they were going to be in attendance, him and Eric Reed, and sort of how they've used their platform for? Yeah, I think um, I think every athlete, every human, and definitely every African American should be completely grateful for and honored how Colin and, and Eric are, are doing so much for the greater good, so to say. Um, and they really use their platform in ways that is really unfathomable. So. Um, I feel like they obviously have great respect from a lot of their peers, especially other athletes and people that are um, really are looking for social change. Have you ever asked? Yeah, oh, yeah, Serena, when you're dominating an opponent the way you did tonight, and you look across the court and you see it's your sister, how do you like realize that 
I've got to put this, I got to get this done, I got to get this out the way, not realizing that that's your sibling, that's somebody that you've always said you care so much about. Yeah, it's just about focusing on each point and it's not necessarily Venus and it is my sibling, but it's the, one of the greatest players of all time and by far the greatest player I've ever played against. So um, it is definitely something that you have to put aside if you're playing against someone like her. Going back, going back to the uh, question before, um, about two years ago, Gordon um, Rankine wrote a book about called Citizen and talked about you and some of the things you had gone through. And I sent that book to you from Madison Square Garden. I was wondering if you ever read it and uh, and um, I had, stuff she talked about. I had a um, really good conversation with Claudia, and she wrote a really great piece, one of the few pieces I've ever read in, about myself, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I love her writing. And again, she's someone that I really look up to and look, and, and, and is extremely, um, I admire her, I admire her work, I admire everything that she's done, and the work she also does for social justice and social change and social awareness, I should say. Um, and, yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. In terms of your matches with your sister, what was the most dramatic or emotionally fulfilling for you? Um, I mean, we've had a lot of great matches, a lot of long matches. Um, I guess I'd have to give that some thought, honestly. Like I always say, I'm a forward-looking person. I don't like dwell on the past and contemplate it all day and all night. I think most people are looking forward. Well, just for the one, that, for the fun of it, does one pop in your mind? Even as a, Not yet. As a kid. All right, well, that's your down the line. Venus? Hi. Uh, Serena said that she thought that was the best match that she's played since her comeback. Would that be your assessment as well? Yeah, I think it's the best match she's ever played against me. I mean, um, I don't think I did a lot wrong, but, you know, she just did everything right. So, obviously, at that level is definitely where she is going to want to stay during this whole tournament. Hey, Venus, um, given all of you, what you both have accomplished, how much different is it playing as against each other as pros versus when you were kids, when maybe it was more of a, you know, sibling rivalry, blood match, or whatever, for lack of a better way. How, how much different is it now as, as pros, given what you've done together? Um, I don't know. There's no different dynamic at all because of what you guys have accomplished and how much you root for each other. You've openly both talked about how much you root for each other. No, I mean, I... I really don't think about this stuff. You have to understand that. What do you think of when you go back, you know, when you go back to the hotel tonight? What will you, will you just have to completely put this in the back of your mind? Yeah, I'm going to rest. I mean, I, I, she played so well, I, I never, you know, got to really even touch any balls. I mean, when your opponent plays like that, it's, it's not really anything to be upset about. I'm not, she just played much better than, the only thing maybe I could have done was put more first serves in, but even then she returned the first serve really well. Like. Um, any shot that I hit, great. She hit a greater shot. Like there's not a lot I can do. So you know, tonight I'll just go back and enjoy the rest of the evening. Yeah. Other, uh, you know, people talked early on about the draw being so tough, and this was clearly a big stumbling block yeah. for either of you. Now, can you see anybody? Can, can you see any major obstacles in her way? Well, I mean. Every match you play, you have to win. She didn't win that match tonight because she, I just rolled over. She played, you know, untouchable tennis. So whoever she plays, she's going to earn it. It's, it's not like people don't try. So I know each person will try against her, and she's going to, you know, hopefully can keep that level up. Photographers, not from the seat. You have to go to the sides. Okay, right. Did you kind of expect to play so well? I mean, obviously she didn't get a chance to play a ton of matches and uh, you know, coming down, not great form coming into the tournament. Did you think that she could play as well as she played today? I mean, I think I would disagree with the not great form. I mean, she just got to a Wimbledon final. I'm not sure you've been. 
So she's been an incredible form coming to the tournament. And um, uh, obviously I hope that she doesn't play that well against me every time because then I, I don't think anyone has a chance. It's just one of those days where, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to, to control the points ever. Venus, uh, John McEnroe once said that what you and your sister have done is the best sports history, best sports story in history. Um, could you reflect on that and what is your sense of what kind of impact the two of you have had? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously a great compliment and um, I don't know that we sit, like I said, we don't sit around and reflect. That's not how you get out here and win these matches is reflecting and looking back. You get out here and you work hard and you look forward and then as soon as you beat one person, there's another one standing in front of you. So at the moment now, our main focus is winning these matches and when it's all said and done, perhaps there'll be a time to reflect, but we're in too deep right now. Yeah. Do you practice with Serena ever these days? She has a much different schedule than I do these days. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.